call the unknown call for or by the year fifteen. Part of the reason that creativity gets squeezed out of schooling is our obsession with assessment, quantification, accountability. It's like you have to um, have numbers that report how much better your school district did than the other one or how much better you did than last year in order for learning to have happened there. It's like if you can't measure it, it doesn't exist. But we know that the things that we're measuring with these tests are not the right things. So we just need a different way of thinking about it that doesn't rely on those particular narrow quantifications of learning. There are other countries than our own that use testing in schools uh, as a way to evaluate the school and they, they do them statistically as samples. So they just give some of the kids the test some of the time. We use them basically to punish the kids for not passing the test. And so it's using it totally the wrong way. Um, there are other ways for people to um, try to understand learning processes uh, and help the learners through that form of assessment. They're just qualitative. Um, so there's like portfolio-based assessment um, and other kind of like rich ways of looking at a learner's development over time. It's just that you can't easily standardize, optimize, technologize those things and so it's hard for people to understand how we can use them and scale them up. But the thing is, that's how we understand each other as humans. We're already built for that kind of relationship, is to like try to understand what another person is, is learning about. So we can do this stuff. We just need to push things back in that direction, away from the obsession with quantification. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of passionate energy around these things, pent up in people who've, who felt like We've known the answer to these questions for decades or longer, uh, and th there just hasn't been the opportunity to build the systems that are needed for things like qualitative assessment, for basically the, s the systems and structures for informal education. A lot of this stuff comes from my advisor's advisor's advisor. <laughs> so um, Jean Piaget is the psychologist who famously studied how children think. And he had this idea called constructivism, which is about how you assemble ideas in your head. You're always constructing ideas using the new input from the world and building your own model of how things work. So you only learn through experience with the world. You're always putting together the ideas yourself. And so um, Seymour Papert worked with Piaget and he developed that idea of constructionism. So instead of a V, it has an N in it, construction, which is about learning through making things. And then he was the advisor to Mitchell Resnick, who's my advisor. So that's the family tree there. I'm proud to be a part of that connection.